<laughs> Cyprus is voting today to choose a new president, with opinion polls giving conservative Nikos Anastasiades a commanding lead. The 66-year-old is promising a quick agreement on an international bailout at a time when the country's perilous economic situation is casting a new shadow over the Eurozone. He's 15 to 20 points ahead of his left-wing rival Stavros Malas, an independent candidate but who's backed by the ruling communists. The outgoing president has sought a bailout worth 17 billion euros, the value of the whole economy. Yorgos Lilikas, who has socialist support, is running neck and neck with Malas in the race to join a likely presidential runoff next week. He opposes alone, saying it would make the recession worse. This voter says people expect a bailout from this election given the difficult situation we're in, to return to economic development and hopefully find a viable solution to the political issue of the division of the island. For the electorate of half a million, the threat of national bankruptcy has blown away the Greek-Turkish divide as the main issue. Cypriots have seen unemployment soar to 15 percent as they've endured cuts to pay and benefits as well as tax hikes to prepare for a bailout. Our correspondent says whoever's elected president, the first major challenge he's confronted with will be to convince EU partners that Cyprus will honour every commitment undertaken in exchange for a bailout. But he'll also need to persuade the Cypriot people that their economic sacrifices will not be wasted.